Um, another reason I thought it was appropriate uh, to meet today, uh, as I said, seven years on, is, is because things um, can never be taken for granted. We might never have thought that actually, uh, even a few years ago, that we'd be in a position where we'd have quite a, a committee of inquiry, an independent one with terms of reference which were comprehensive. Um, that didn't happen by chance. Uh, we should remind ourselves of the timeline. Initially, we had a chief minister who said no stone will be left unturned. We had a subsequent chief minister and council of ministers who said, actually, we've decided we don't need a committee of inquiry anymore. And it was only because some uh, politicians at the time, uh, two, three of us are here actually today, and I, I think it's worth mentioning the fact that former Senator Le Grayley, um, who's, I think, fair to say an unassuming man, but strong, said, no, this isn't right. We actually need to make sure we have a committee of inquiry. It's been promised to us. Um, you know, former Deputy Hill is here with us, who also said, absolutely, we need that. And myself, when we put the meat on the bones and said, These, this is the type of inquiry we need. And that wouldn't have been possible were it not for the um, staunch support of uh, bloggers, for example, investigative bloggers, who uh, filled the lacuna of investigative journalism in Jersey in order to press um, the government to hold, uh, hold to account for these terrible events that have happened over decades. There have been renewed attempts to actually try and whitewash and say, maybe we don't need a committee of inquiry, maybe we can stop it halfway through. And I think it's important that this presence today, though we may not be massive in number, symbolically says, no, enough is enough, hands off our committee of inquiry. Um, let's actually get to the truth, and if that means that some people will have to face questions which are not comfortable and give answers, so be it. Um, the Chief Minister does give his apologies. I invited him today, but I think it's important that he actually has come out and said, no, we do need the Committee of Inquiry, and he's put himself on record as saying they must go ahead. Again, that's not something that could be taken for granted in Jersey, um, and it's an important uh, that that's happened. So I won't say anything more, just to say thank you for those who have attended today. Um, I will invite any others who want to say a few, few words, perhaps Bob or, or anyone who's got anything relevant to say. Um, I just say to Monty, I, I would be pleased to attend and I just say I didn't want to say anything. Uh, my political speeches are over. Uh, I've done my uh, period of being in the public eye. I really, I'm out of it now. But I am very angry, I have to say, that uh, there are attempts, and we know where they're coming from, to stop this inquiry midstream. And that's absolutely wrong, absolutely wrong. And the reasons for trying to stop it are obvious to people like yourselves who are here today. We know why they're trying to stop it. We're starting to get closer to the truth, and it's starting to feel uncomfortable for some people. So it has to go on, it has to continue. Uh, we've heard, quite rightly, firstly, from the victims, over 200 witnesses, I understand, have now given evidence. But we have to, and when I brought the proposition, it was always about fairness. We have to hear from the people who've been either correctly or incorrectly accused of being abusers. We have to hear from them. It's only right that they should have their voice as well. We have to hear from the staff and the people who are involved with the children's service and the homes. We have to hear their stories. And finally, the piece of uh, of the Committee of Inquiry terms of reference that Monty was particularly keen to see was to do with the prosecutions. Were they influenced by uh, political uh, powers that be at the time? Uh, we don't know. Some of us have our doubts. I know Stuart has strong doubts about some of the decisions. Uh, but the Committee of Inquiry will get closer to the truth. And we need this inquiry to finish its work. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. We need the support of the people of Jersey, not just the people here today. People of Jersey who really care about our islanders need to support this inquiry and see it through. Of course, we need to be careful with money. We have, you know, we have to be careful. But I think the uh, chair, I d I've never met the chair. I've had no political influence since I brought my proposition, other than making sure, while I was a minister, that there was going to be a committee of inquiry and adequate, thorough terms of reference. Since then, I've had no involvement. And I believe all politicians, with due respect, should keep out of the inquiry, not try and influence it, let it do its work, and then the people of Jersey will have a better idea of what happens 
in those times when things were different. We all understand that. That was a different era in some cases. But abuse of children, particularly sexual abuse, is absolutely abhorrent, should never happen, and we have to find out what really happened in those homes. And that's all I can say. Thank you. Thank you.